everyone. I am Lisbeth Bouchelle with the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission's Office of Public Participation. In this video, I will demonstrate and explain in a step-by-step -step process how to file an intervention using FERC's online system. As we have discussed in today's workshop on fundamentals of intervention in FERC matters, the public can file to intervene in commission proceedings. We discussed ways to participate, who can be an intervener, and we learned the differences between filing a comment and filing an intervention. As an intervener, individuals, groups, or organizations can become official participants in a proceeding. Dates and information of when to file an intervention will be issued in a notice by the commission, or it can be located in the federal register. After you file an intervention, you must serve a copy of the filing to the service list. It notifies the applicant and parties that you have filed to the docket. This can be done by emailing a copy of the intervention. Let's begin the step-by-step -step process on how to file an intervention using FERC's online system. FERC uses this system for a number of reasons. Today, I will be explaining how to file an intervention. Step one, FERC.gov. To file an intervention, go to FERC's homepage at FERC.gov. On the right-hand screen, click on e-file and sign in with your email and password. If you do not have an email and password, you would need to click on new user to register. Since I have my username and password, I'm going to click on login right here. Once you have logged in to the e-filing system, you will see a menu on the left-hand side column under FERC Online Applications. You should be able to see three columns in front of you. The first column will ask, how is your filing to be directed? You will have a variety of options. Select General. Step three, select Intervention. The second column will populate and ask, what kind of filing are you making? Select Intervention. Step four, Filing Type. In the third column, there will be four options to select. The options are dockless motion to intervene, dockless out of time motion to intervene, motion to intervene, and lastly, motion to intervene out of time. Dockless means documentless. It means that you will type out your reason for intervening directly on a form online. If you are filing a motion with an attachment, such as a Word document, a PDF, or an image or photo, select Motion to Intervene option. The FERC e-filing system will let you upload many different types of attachments. If you are filing past the due date, you will select an Out of Time option. For purposes of today's demonstration, we are going to do a dockless intervention. Click Next once you make your selection. Step five, select docket. On this page, type in or you can search your docket number or project number. In the search bar, you can type out the docket number, then click search and select the docket number from the list. On the right-hand side, click on the blue plus sign to select the docket number. Look down below to make sure that the selected docket section to view your selection. The selected docket will now be displayed on the bottom of the web page. When you click next, it will bring you to the next step to write your intervention. Step six, content. Explain the reason why you are intervening as required by rule 214B of the commission's rules of practice and procedure. We suggest to write out your intervention in a word or similar software to check for spelling and to copy and paste into the text box. Cite to the Commission's regulation pursuant to Section 214. Explain why you are intervening. What is your status? For example, are you a landowner, an organization, or a group? Explain your interest in detail. Describe how the project has a direct or substantial interest to you and how the determination of the project may have an effect on you. State if you represent an interest which may be directly affected by the outcome of the proceeding. Describe how filing for intervention will not allow you or your party to be represented adequately, unless allowed to participate fully in the proceeding. After you are done typing your intervention, click Next for the next step. 
This next step is where you will state if you are filing this on your behalf as an individual or behalf of another party, group, or organization. Step seven, filing party. On the filing party screen, there are two choices, to file on behalf of another party or to file as an individual. If you are filing on behalf of a party or group or organization, they would have to be already registered before you get to this step. To register the party, you need to go on e-register. For purposes of this demonstration, we will go through first as a group and then a second time as an individual. This information will be part of the service list and will become public information. On behalf of another party, I will type out the name of my party, in this case, OPP. Then click search. Just like on the last screen, I select my party by clicking on the blue plus sign. And look below to the selected organization section. Now that I've selected OPP fundamentals for participating in FERC matters, I will click next. The next string screen will show you the organization that you chose. Add in the contact email for the organization and click add as signer. Please note the email address which is being added in the contact email would need to be registered before you get to this point. Here I will be typing in my email address and you can see that it will be added below as a signer of the organization. If I need to add a colleague or another person, I can click add as other contact. Then click next and it will bring you to the submission description. But before we get to that, let's see what it looks like to go through as an individual. I will click on as an individual and click next. Here I will put my email address and click add as signer for the individual submission. Again, if I need to add another contact email, I will populate that email in this box and click add as other contact. Click next when you're done. This next step will be the information to describe your submission in detail. Currently, it says dockless motion to intervene of the individual's name under the docket number. You can choose to leave it how it is or if you need to add further description, this is the section that you would do so. Click next. This is the final step. Review your information and click submit on the screen to confirm and file your intervention. Now that you have successfully submitted the filing, expect to receive an email confirming the system received your intervention. If you do not receive an email, check your junk or spam folders. If you have further issues, click on FERC Online Support at FERC.gov or call 202-502-6652 or toll-free 866-208-3676. If you have any questions, please visit FERC.gov slash OPP or you can email us at OPP at FERC.gov.